What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson before and today we're gonna to be talking about the DLC map packs of the Awakening. So in the past few days a lot of things have been happening, glitches, hacks or whatever. Uh mostly glitches though on the PS4. Because if you're playing on the PS3, I know it's fucking hacked as fuck. So uh, but on the, on the PS4, there's a lot of glitches going on, wall barriers, invisible walls, uh, invincibility, you know, a lot of things has been going on. This is crazy, man. Not, nothing like this has happened before, like back in the PS3 era, back in Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, on the DLC maps on the first day, all those freaking glitches were fixed because, of course, you know, Xbox 360 used to get the maps first, but now the PS4 gets it first, and pretty much we're getting, like, the fucking, you know, the scrap, we're getting the vanilla map and shit, and, uh, well, a lot of glitches were discovered along the way. Um, one of the first glitches that I encountered were the ones in, um, I believe in Splash, you know, people were going through the walls and going onto the rooftops and people were racking up their kills and getting all the kills because it was fucking annoying to be honest. And, um, you know, they already fixed it already. And, uh, there was a recent patch, like I believe it was like on the 5th of uh, February. And uh, that, that fixed the patch, you know, of, of climbing onto the roofs and splash and going through the walls. All that shit has been fixed already. And um, But when it wasn't fixed in the first two days of, of the release of the DLC maps, it was fucking horrendous. I was like, nah, I'm not going to play this for a few days until they fix this shit. Because people were being cowards. They, they don't even want to go face to face. You know, these kinds of people. I, I was ready to do a series. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a series called Cowards of Today. And I was going to put all those fucking people that kept on climbing that fucking roof, you know, doing wall glitches and shit, so people can report it. Because I don't like those kinds of people, man. I don't like to play on my game and people are cheating their shit out. Like, I don't like that crap. So, um, so yeah, like, there was a lot of glitches going on. Gauntlet also, Gauntlet has, still has that freaking invisible rooftop glitch going on. Um, what's another freaking thing? These the Skyjack one. I remember the Skyjack one. That one was fucking hilarious. Going on top of the rooftop, but it was like an open fucking field. Like people can shoot you and shit. Also, you can still stand in the middle building of that map. Um, that glitch hasn't been patched, I believe. So there's a lot of glitches going on in this DLC maps. Nothing like this. I had never experienced experienced it before on the PS3 era because uh, you know, Xbox 360 used to get the maps first. And uh, I just want you guys to be aware. That's why I did those videos also in the past few days. On Saturday and Friday, I was doing glitches videos because I want you guys to be aware of what's been going on. I don't do them. I don't do them on multiplayer because I consider that as a coward move. So um, I usually just do it in, in private matches. I'm not going to do that in multiplayer because I'm not, I am not. I don't roll like that, man. I, got, I get all my kills legit face-to-face -face and all that shit. So, you know, it will be cool if people do not label me as glitcher because I'm not a glitcher. I just showed him because I want you guys to be aware. So, anyways, yeah, that's what's been going on lately, guys, on PS4. If you guys are playing on Xbox One, then you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. So, uh, the four maps that I got released for the DLC was Gauntlet, Splash, um, High Rise? I think it was High Rise? Or just Rise? I'm not sure what the fuck. I can't believe they named that map after fucking High Rise or Rise or what. I don't know what the fuck the name is, but it's similar. It has a similar name to some other map that has been previously released on the Black Ops and in Mono Warfare also like what the fuck are they trying to do here? I mean we all know it's not on top of a building, it's actually on the freaking floor. It's ground zero. That should that map should have been named Ground Zero to be honest. But I'll talk about it in another video. I'll do some you know map reviews so you guys can be aware of of uh, my Xbox One players. I'll give you guys some map reviews so you guys can be ready for the maps and uh, you know I'll give you guys some also some secret passages. I had to find out some secret passages where you can just go through and just flank the enemy like 100% like of the time. And you should be able to like rack up a lot of kills like instantly, get out your lightning strikes and shit. It's insane, man. Th this map's, I want to give it like in total like, of a grade of uh, maybe like a B-. minus. You know what? A little bit of a C, but I don't know. If I, if I had three judges, judges number one would be like a hard ass. He will give it like a fucking C-. minus. And the, the easy going person will probably give it like a B. And like a good like person would just give it like a B also or a B minus. So overall, the maps were like a B minus. They were not that good, but they were like all right to play on because they they were not as terrible as the ones from Modern Warfare Three. Because I know the Modern Warfare Three DLC maps were kind of horrendous in the first freaking release days because uh, those had like terrible spawn glitches. It was fucking horrendous, but um. It was not as bad as that, though. Uh, those maps, I would give it like a C minus. But for Black Ops Three, the first DLC maps, I would give it like a B minus. Also, I'm like it was, it was good enough to play on. They had like multiple passages. You can flank the enemies, and everything's unpredictable. Like you just, you just, you know, just hope nobody flanks you. Because this, all these maps in the first DLC, it's all about flanking. Pretty much. So that's it, guys. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay and also more tips and tricks and more glitches if I find any. I'll review them and I'll show you guys to be so you guys can be aware of the, of the latest glitches. And uh, I want you guys to do good, you know, race up your KDs and shit. So that's it, guys. I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more Black Ops 3.